Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Looking at titrations as neutralization reactions, we know that when an acid reacts with a base, a neutralization uh, reaction takes place. Now, when we have uh, titrations occurring, we need indicators to show us when neutralization has taken place. So in order to indicate to us when neutralization has occurred, we need indicators. So when indicators are substances that indicate the end point of neutralization by changing its color at that point. Now, common indicators that we use are bromothymol blue, uh, methyl orange, and phenolphthalein. And we see that the uh, characteristic colors are shown in this table where bromothymol blue is yellow in an acid and blue in a base. Methyl orange is red in an acid and orange in a base, and phenolphthalein is colorless in an acid, and pink in a base. Now, what is important is that what causes this um, change of color at end point, we see that when we have a, a neutralization reaction taking place, where the strong acid, for example, uh, reacts with a strong base, then we get a neutral salt that is formed, and water that is formed. Now hydrolysis takes place that the salt that is formed usually reacts with water to form either a slightly acidic solution or slightly basic solution. But in the case where a strong acid reacts with a strong base to form NaCl as your salt, we see in this case here that Na plus and the Cl minus ions in solution do not undergo hydrolysis with water. So the reaction, um, so that the solution remains neutral. Now, if we have an, uh, uh, in a case where a strong acid reacts with a weak base, then an acidic salt is formed and water is formed. So HCl is your strong acid where it reacts with uh, NH3, which is your weak, weak base. We see NH4 plus ions are formed and Cl minus ions are formed. And what occurs then is that the NH4 plus ions undergo hydrolysis where the NH4 plus ions react or the water in the solution that is formed to form NH3 plus H3O plus ions. And here we see because H3O plus ions are formed, we realize that the solution that is formed is an acidic solution because an acidic salt is formed in the solution and the suitable indicator will be methyl orange. Here we see that when we have a basic solution, what happens is an acidic salt reacts with a strong base to form a basic salt plus water. So your weak acid in this case will be carbonic acid reacting with sodium hydroxide, which is your strong base, to give you Na plus ions and CO3, two minus ions, plus the water that is formed. Now what happens in this case, the CO3, two minus ions undergo uh, hydrolysis where the CO3, two minus ions react with the water to form HCO, three minus ions and OH minus ions. And because of the presence of um, OH minus ions, we see that the solution is slightly basic. And so phenolphthalein will be a suitable indicator to use in this case. Now, if we go up, we'll basically see that what occurs is that in hydrolysis, we see when a strong acid reacts with a strong base, a neutral salt is formed and water is formed. And bromothymol blue is a suitable indicator because the Na plus ions and the Cl minus ions do not undergo hydrolysis. When a strong acid reacts with a weak base, we see an acidic salt is formed and water because the NH4 plus ions react with the water to form NH3 ammonia plus H3O plus ions. And the solution is slightly acidic. So methyl orange is a suitable indicator and the pH of the solution is uh, slightly on the acidic side and we'll talk about pH later on. And if we have a basic solution, we see that when a weak acid reacts with a strong base, you get a basic salt that is formed in water and the basic salt uh, is the CO3 two minus ions reacting with the water to form OH minus ions and phenolphthalein is a suitable indicator in that case. 